Alright, what's up you guys? I'm going to do a video here. And this is going to be a video, I'm, since I was talking, it's my rule, if I was talking enough either to the girlfriend or other people about this subject matter, and in vlogs, if I talk about it enough, uh, I'll do a video on it. This is uh, going to be like a video that I actually eventually took down. I made, it took me a few years, but I made a video because of this subject matter. I he had a video I called Lesbian Crybaby Story about a particular lesbian crybaby, but before I get into it, I'm calling this video a tale of two lesbians, and here's going to be a reason, because now I'm reflecting on the one negative um, uh, dealing with a particular person. I'm going to just talk about it again back when I was in college and I had a video production class. And a until recently a job that I no longer was at. I actually have one of my videos on my YouTube in which I'm doing my fist walk through the whole length of like say a very big floor at my game, like a warehouse floor. And the person who did my filming for me, I got the whole camera, was a lesbian and has a girlfriend and all that. Instead of loaning money, I actually paid a few bucks, you know, about and said instead of having so I was going to talk about a rule, too, which I have. I don't care who it is. Somebody asks you, oh, can I borrow a few bucks or have a little trouble with gas money? If you're a person who does, like, filming and stuff, a certain kind of thing, and you want them to hold a camera for you where you do stuff yourself, you know, yeah, pay them a few bucks and have them do it. Well, anyway, before I get into that, I'm, this video that I actually did uh, delete a while back and got rid of it, I was talking about... Uh, this one a woman that was a lesbian, like, anyway, I went to college after, like, a while, like, my fancy job that I had, the one of the best paying jobs you ever had, where I was actually walking around with a ponytail, and smirking at damn near everybody, you know, eating fancy and all that, and people thinking you're some kind of drug dealer, all that, because you got money in your hands. You went from that to the job goes completely for whatever reason, downside. I decided to go to college, and then a video production class, I got in this little conflict, you know, this was over a figure speech of this particular lesbian I'm talking about. Wasn't even nowhere in the room. It was about a figure of speech I used. She was offended. She, this woman, was offended. Like, what it was was there was this little thing where I didn't give a shit wherever the music everybody played, these young kids in the room. And uh, they play whatever thing I want. Some of it's either more obnoxious and offensive than the shit I listened to when I was younger. But then they look at me like I'm nuts that heavy metal back in my day that I played, like look at me like I'm nuts and all this shit was recycled in Screamer or Growling Rock and saying stupid stuff. Well, I play something one day, you know, I don't give a shit what people play and I expect anybody to give a shit and all of a sudden this stupid guy with, I don't know, skinny little t-shirt, shorts wearing guy or whatever with his little goatee or whatever, slaps a earphone set down, stares at me and just slaps down a earphone set, right? So, um, I'm like, whoa, geez, you're off, I, everything's quiet, you're offended at something I'm listening to. And I was kind of going like this, I'm like, what? Oh, all of a sudden, you're offended by something I'm playing, and I'm minding my own business or whatever. But I made a sarcastic comment on it in, in a blog, and kind of said, saying that I was using some term, and all of you, like, saying, oh, that is so gay, or called him a homo, or something like that. Uh, keep in mind, I will start laughing at it. Keep in mind uh, that uh, some people, that uh, whether you're an outright gay hater or not, we had a tendency to use that as a figure of speech. Either call somebody a homo or say something is so gay. When you don't care for something, that's so gay. About somebody, the uh, way they're acting, right? And we use that terminology as a figure of speech just like using motherfucker, you know what I mean? So anyway, this woman that was a lesbian just saw that on the blog. She wasn't anywhere there, there or nothing. And she ran on around and telling the uh, teacher. But get this, before I tell you she's going to cry into the teacher, right? This uh, lesbian had a tendency to, ever since that we even started class, you hear a real loud mouth, okay, in conversation. Always talking about somebody either her knit conflict between her neighbor and her kids and the neighbors and talking about all tough she's going to beat somebody's fucking ass and how she has these relatives who's her friends that 
have parties once in a while and whatever going on or they're not too far from the border and yeah we're gonna get all fucking wasted she was one of them the tough talker always talking about you know I she had her loud mouth talking with her people you know all and then she was always on the phone you know too that way real loud in front of people talking tough so I wouldn't expect her later to go to the teacher in front of me having a complaint they got me over there and she complained to the teacher and in the complaint she's crying she's like oh, this is so terrible uh, he's a grown man and he said something is gay or homo or whatever the heck it is a figure of speech that she saw when she was reading a blog like I said tough talker the whole time ever since between in uh, ever since the beginning of the class and she gets offended. She does that crying thing. And then right after that, I go, I'm like, you know, in the thing, I go, all right. I knew meant nothing by it. That's a figure of speech. Dang. I was like, dang. So right after all of that, and the teacher comes to me and all that, she does the crying, right? She goes right back to her usual on the phone and talking to her friend, mother, at this and that, you know. And what I was saying, it's like a hypocrisy thing, right? Uh, instead of right coming to you, you know, that would, okay, that would be like me, how I am, and you know me already, right? I'm not happy with something you did or said, and I kind of swear a little bit, right? Instead of coming to you, or even if I'm cursing at you a little bit, I tr say instead of trying first coming to you and ask what's up, or try the polite way first before I swear at you or something. But instead of doing that, I go to somebody else, or go to the cop, you know, what I'm talking all tough and motherfucker, and say I go crying, literally ball and tears. <laughs> and then right after that, after, you know, I got the babysitter or the whatever, a cop or a teacher, after all that crying game, go right back to my mother effing tough guy shit, you know I mean? This is what this woman did. So that's the one lesbian, the tale of the one lesbian. And like I said, the second lesbian, I elaborate a little bit, which is fast forward a bunch of years later which was definitely, uh, was a year ago before I got in trouble with, and I was even joking with her that I'm going to get in trouble for this. I, I saw that all brewing up. She knew, this woman knew the gossip that was around there. And, you know, like uh, some people were nice to her face and some were not. But this was a nice lesbian. She's trying to be nice to everybody. and She held the camera for me and all that and a little bit like that. Friendly to everybody. I said, hey, are you want to hit yeah, hold this camera for me, all right? So that being on my YouTube video, I was literally violating the rules. But later on, I got fired from that job because people knew I was doing that, and it's all over YouTube. I rightly couldn't even sue or anything, right? But I agree. Uh, my beef was I agreed to be a, before I got fired in the job. I agreed to stop everything else I was doing, even the stretching. And somebody didn't like something I said, my smart mouth, so they decided to fire me and say that the basic stretch of my grabbing my shoes was exercising and firing me. They said that was exercising and firing fired me, but um, but anyway, um so you got one lesbian that will act like that, and then I had another one which I worked at the warehouse, a shithole warehouse that they run you like a dog and you get some of the privileged people that walk around the phone. Held the camera for me, friendly as hell and even uh, a real, like, you know, real friendly type that you don't care, you don't care if they're gay or anybody is, if they're acting a certain way, you know, acting nice beforehand and not being a idiot, you know what I mean, but, um, so, uh, the second, uh, person is what you prefer, you know what I mean, and, uh, that ain't gonna get offended over every little thing, and, and, like, uh, just talk about normal stuff, and, uh, so there you go, I had one that, uh, was like that, and gave me shit looks ever since, like, yeah, I had one that I was in the college room, gave me shit looks for no damn reason ever since, and was a loud mouth, and shit like that, get offended over a little thing, then there was one that, uh, I worked in a factory next to, and hell of a nice person, and then, uh, I, and I offered her a few bucks to hand, hand uh, carry the camera for me, you know, point the camera, you know, you know, doing some of the stuff that my YouTube really is for, 
more so than talking about people that I can't stand. I do that too, but my primary purpose. And also, uh, I did a lot of my stuff that the videos that I'm not taking down either that were in some of these places that were, were bare knuckles, just so I could smirk at and kind of uh, laugh in the face of people that thought their shit, you know, is a to deliver a passive aggressive silent message and then I could smirk at them and say shit, you know, and that they're not going to physically touch me on it. So, so I think, you know, and piss the boss off. Yeah, I could, anyway, that's the uh, environment where the second lesbian I worked with that held the camera. I could go on and on in a video about all kind of sh other shit that grew up that she knew damn well in a place uh, you're working at. So, I think I had uh, two other people that worked in this place that were dudes that were gay and, you know, they were actually boyfriend and girlfriend. And they were all right. They didn't uh, act like assholes. I didn't even know they were gay. And they were just acting like, oh, nice. You know, I mean, and stuff like that. You know? But, uh, yeah, that's uh, kind of a really sloppy video if you got this far. But it takes two kinds of people to make the world. I don't care if, I mean, uh, either if you're somebody that's, like, gay or lesbian and they're in that extremist group, which I can't stand for, if it's a common one that maybe you run into a workplace and say, nice. or you can have the extremeness of another race or somebody, and then you've got the people of the motley crew that you work with that are both black and white. And you've got, uh, yeah, you've got people that are immigrants here and there that you see the extremist side of politically correct bullshit, and then you have... Uh, a lot of your towns have an Abu, like in uh, The Simpsons. Yeah, my town has one of those, too, even though he may not be, I don't think he's that nationality, but pretty, well, a little bit, uh, I could say that in a sarcasm, but uh, a real person that's a little bit, you know, uh, some intelligence compared to the cartoons they say in The Simpsons. Hey, hey, my town got one of those, too. Hell, you know, um, I can go on, but yeah, that's it for this video.